Yeah. Okay. It's done. So, this is. Let me move all this out of the way. I just set that there for a picture. This is what it looks like. Okay. And here's him a bowl. Let's give that to Daddy. Here. Don't burn your mouth. All right, let's try it out. Well, is it famous chicken like they say in the book? Huh? Yeah, it's good. I don't think he likes it. Mm, it's good. He wants to add bacon bits. Do you remember I was suggesting the, the real corn bacon bits? I think it's going to throw this different stuff. I don't want bacon bits. Mm -hmm. The chicken did go in raw, Kelly. But... Mmm, that was good. To be honest with you, I really don't see why you couldn't have just tossed some of that, those mushrooms and cooked it together. I would feel better about that. I don't know why. Maybe because it was cut up chicken. Let's try a piece. I'll let that little bit of bacon warm mm. up. It's good. This is a good one. It's definitely a casserole, so the presentation in the bowl is not too, super pretty, but it is good. You want to try it in mine? Huh? You want to try it by mine? Yeah. He added bacon bits to his. I, I knew I was having problems eating with that spoon. We'll get another one. And my mouth couldn't feel that. <laughs> Look how bent that is. It is good with the bacon too, but mm -hmm. I like this. They did, uh, it was, the recipe called for a cream of mushroom, but two cans of cream of mushrooms. But I, I think it would be good with cream of chicken or one of each. Or cream of bacon. Do they have cream of bacon? I think they do. Mmm. I start putting that in everything. I don't know if I have cream bacon. So this was called Ted's Famous Chicken. And I found the recipe in a, um, well, I'll show you. Hold on one second. Excuse me, Bobby. Bob, you're going to make me call. If you add the bacon, it really helps disguise the mushroom taste. I like the mushroom taste. For people that don't. Oh, dogs. Excuse me. Okay. And this is literally how it came in this box. That's actually mine. But on eBay, I ordered just a whole box of uh, different recipes. So it's like different old cut up um, newspaper clippings. There's some note cards in here. There's like some photocopies of note cards in here. There's different little cards like this. So I don't really know where any of this come from. There's written on like little pieces of paper. I even have some written like on a, um, that's a piece of paper. I even have some written like on the back of an envelope. So, I don't know. Look, this is like a package that they cut that out of. So, I ordered this on eBay. Look, there's a bunch of these packages. So, this is from a package of Domino Sugar. And I don't know what this little stamp means, but it says J233. So, I wonder if that's January 2nd of 33. I don't know. See if some of the other packages have a date.
recipes that please. This is an old order form for like an old cookbook. Definitely like out of the 70s. I don't know. This is old Cool Whip um, tops that they have different recipes on. So uh, anyways, I found this recipe in this box. And if you are ever at a yard sale and you can pick up some stuff like this or I have an album that is kind of like that. It's like an old photo album. I ordered these recipe boxes and it's kind of the same thing. You got cards, handwritten, and then magazine cutouts. So you never know what you're going to find in here. Cabbage lasagna. But it doesn't say whose this was or anything like that. And I could tell you who I ordered it from, but um, that doesn't mean it came from their family. They could have found this at a garage sale or whatever. So... I have that one, and then I have this one. I like this one because this one actually hangs on the wall. I haven't hung it, but you put a little nail there, and it hangs on the wall, kind of like a letter opener. And it has all these old recipe cards in it. And I don't know how old they are. But look at this newspaper clipping. There's no date. Oh, Ice water chocolate cake. Oh, but look, this ad has, I think, looks like um, maybe apartments for rent in Brooklyn, Long Island, and Manhattan. So I don't know. Or maybe that's the addresses for this, some kind of mart. Uh, what? I had a little thing that said, I had a picture of a little pig on there that said, lose an hour, feed me now, or I will sing you the song of my people. Okay. Well, we're going to go eat dinner, and then, um, I don't know. This is going to be posted on the website, though, so hopefully today, we have a doctor's appointment in the morning. If I don't get to it tonight, we'll do it in the morning, okay? So look for that there. All right. See you guys soon.